Peter Obi Support Group POPSG inauguration of state escorts was glamorous in Lagos with the theme name tagged I am the structure comprises different multi-ethnic tribes and group converging together as a look forward to the success of the presidential race of their principal. While giving an opening remark, the Lagos State Coordinator Chief Egon Nauwagogo emphasized the importance of public sensitization and awareness of the Labour Party logo, which symbolizes family to all local governments and the grassroots ahead of the election. Today is the inauguration of POPSG simply means P2B Presidential Support Group. That's why we are here. We are working for P2B because we want new Nigeria. We want Nigeria to embrace the change, the real change, the nation needs, the change that we portray our future, the change that we make us to be the light of Africa, the change that we make Nigeria the giant of Africa, the change that we make us to embrace the real future, the common man needs in life, the change that will come, that will make you to be nobody, you don't know anybody, and you become somebody in Nigeria. Having described Peter Obi as a go-getter, a mentor, and an accountable human being, is fit for the job looking at his previous record. You no, know, like I said, I have not met with Peter Obi one on one, but by the grace of God, we started this movement in June, and uh, we have gone around the nation and even in diaspora. Our mission is very clear, to mobilize support for the election of uh, Peter Obi uh, Mendati as the president and vice president of Nigeria because we believe that they have the competence, the character, the capacity to lead Nigeria to become the great nation that we all deserve and demand for. However, members who couldn't hide their feelings expressed dissatisfaction over the insecurity, poverty, killing, and lack of development and infrastructure to the plight of the people under this present administration. For the past years, they keep on telling the youth that uh, things will get better, things will get better. Today, we are in 2022, nothing has ever gotten better. Instead, it is getting worse. So for that reason, Nigeria is questing for a good governance. And above all, we have looked at all the candidates that have surfaced for the 2023 uh, presidential campaign. We have seen none of them that have the quality apart from Peter Obi, and he is the most credible, the most uh, reliable, and the one in which the youths will channel all their strength and the energy towards to ensure a better Nigeria that we are looking forward to see. To be sincere with you, so far I'm glad because what I'm seeing is very, very encouraging. You understand? Being obedient is different than being useful. It's quite different. All of us have been out doing this thing with our mind, without collecting money from anybody. Why? Because we want a better Nigeria. We want to we want to get a better future for ourselves, for our children, for the generation to come. The high point of event was a presentation of certificates to the state escorts as they carried out their roles and obligations as a patriotic citizen of our dear nation while conversing for OB. <laughs> In the same vein, the three major tribes in Nigeria also displayed a cultural dance while entertaining the delegates across the state. <laughs>
In conclusion, the state coordinator, High Chief Iguano Uagogo, while he sees the opportunity to advise the youth to utilize this opportunity to vote for a competent candidate and shun vote bias. In Lagos, Olayinka Olatunji reporting for News Buster NGTV.